Tankers, I am Drills Blitz, and welcome back to another one of my videos. Now, this video is a bit different. It is not a tank review for once. <laughs> this is actually a high explosive ammo um, review, sort of. So, if you don't know what high explosive is, this is the third type of shell that you can pretty much put on every type of tank, um, apart from like the AMX 1357 and certain odd tanks. Now, if you're a new player starting off, you may look at high explosive and be like, Wow, high explosive? It does the most damage out of all my tanks. Like a KV-2 does 960 damage over the 640 on an AP. However, um, HE is a bit different because HE only does that damage if it penetrates, and mostly it does not. It only does splash damage, and splash damage on a KV-2 is much less than the AP rounds that will be penetrating most tier 5 and 6 targets. So if you do normally just run high explosive, change it to AP because it will be much better. Now, if you know what high explosive is and you don't really know how it works, why is this tank orange? What does that mean? So as you can see there, I just use high explosive and one shot that tier 6 tank destroyer. And I'll show you a bit more in depth when this KV-2 pushes up here. You can see, I'm going to pause it real quick. This KV-2 is orange on the hull and his turret has a bit clear spots. Now the way high explosive works is the orange means... It's going to do, I don't know, like 50% the damage of what the shell would normally do. So if I were to shoot this KV-2 in any of the orange spots, it would do about, I'd say, 400 to 300 damage. However, if I hit him in the clear spot, it will do 960 average, because that is what the average damage of the shell is. Now the difference is, is that this HE only has 90 millimeters of penetration. So, most HE on most tanks, other than like the Smasher and big caliber tank destroyers, do, I don't know, maybe like 50 penetration on a T-43. Now, if you're using a T-43 and you shoot at a KV-2 with HE, you'll probably do 12, 10 damage. You might as well just use AP. But you can see when you use a bigger caliber, it has more penetration. And even if you don't penetrate, it will still do 400 damage, 300 damage. But... I'm going to aim for the weak spot on that KV-2, and I am going to take 831 off, you can see. And that's how you want to run high explosive. Now, one of the things to know about HE is that it actually disappears in tanks' tracks. So if you were to shoot a high explosive at somebody's uh, track, and you're like, well, why didn't it do the max damage? I should penetrate. If you hit a tank in the tracks, it will not penetrate with high explosive. And that's actually the same as heat, if you didn't know. Now we also have this bulldog here, and this is actually high explosive I'm using. You can see the whole tank is penetrable, again, but you can see that the tracks look like they're penetrable, and the spaced armor along the side of the tracks looks penetrable. Don't shoot it in the spaced armor. It will not penetrate. It'll do probably 400 damage to this tank, maybe 500 if you're lucky. But if I shoot him right in the hall, as you can see, boom, 1,000 damage, one-shotted, dead. But do not, and I say again, just don't shoot HE in tracks of tanks. It will not penetrate them. It will do 300, 400 damage. And that actually works the same way with heat rounds. If you're wondering why your heat rounds just look like they go into the tra tracks of tanks and then they disappear, that is because heat rounds do not penetrate through tracks. Now the last tip is that HE actually gets blown up on any obstacle it hits. So if there's a little fence or any little building in front of you, Unlike an armor piercing round, high explosive rounds will blow up on that object and stop dead right there and will not hit the enemy. So if there's a thin little railing between you and your enemy and you're contemplating whether to shoot HE or high explosive, and by the way, heat also disappears into railings like that, use AP or APCR. It is a much more effective round in those areas. HE is only used for very lightly armored tanks. You have to know the armor profile of most tanks. Um, and you can see, if you do use HE, like on a Smasher in a good matchup, I managed to pick up 4,300 damage with 6 kills and a Mastery. Um, you can see, if you can work it well, you can work anything. And that is why you want to use HE, but only in certain areas. Um, if you did like this video, though, please let me know. Um, leave a like in the comments down below, as well with a down vote if you did not like it. And tell me why. Um, <clears throat> that is the end of this video, though. Thanks for watching.